Hello everyone, this is Marina and her occupation is making the dolls, the rag dolls and she knows everything about how to make this and what types of dolls we have here. So please tell us something about these beautiful works of art. Помимо того, что делали большую куклу масленицы, делали вот еще такие вот маленькие куколки масленицы, на которые а, наговаривали весь негатив, все что отрицательное, все неприятности, которые накопили за этот год, и чтобы вот это все при сжигании ушло. То есть эту куклу вместе с большой масленицей сжигали на this one is a very interesting for girls because if you want to be married and for your marriage to be happy you need to assume it so this one is called I want to get married and it is made without your without hands you cannot see it in here because usually a man holds his wife or his bride on his hands для дома, чтобы негатив никакой в дом не, при... не проникал. Вот она оберегает э, дом и хозяев эти, эти жилища, да? Now I'll try to make such kind of a doll. And I hope that I'll be very successful in it, because it's really beautiful. Нам потребуется вот такой кусочек, маленький квадратик на ручке. Белый квадрат на лицо. Цветной квадратик на юбочку. Какой-нибудь красивый фартук и нитки на косичку и на украшение ленточки. Mm -hmm. It is very important not to cut it, but to tire it with your own hands. It is a very symbolic gesture. Вот получается вот такая вот конфетка. Something like this. Mm -hmm. Now we can cut. Normally, there is no needle and there is no scissors needed here, and we do it with our own hands. But this time, as I'm a new one and a green one, green one I think it can be acceptable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we'll start weaving the braid. So we can use any kind of color. So the way you love, the way you like. <laughs> and we cut it in the center. So I'll do it now. Mm -hmm. Now we are making the face. Mm -hmm. We need a white blanket and a white material. Usually faces have no expression. Like for example, we can see on this doll. So it has, has no nose, no eyes, no mouth. And it is made because people who do it can imagine. But this one is made with eyes and nose and a mouth because it is just made for adoration. You can just adore and admire the way it is made and it is just like a decoration for the room or for your flat. Mm -hmm. Like this. Mm -hmm. For the length of the braid. So people can make it anyhow. And mine is rather long and now we're making the bow for it to be more beautiful and exquisite. Now we're making the head and the neck and in order to do it we need to tie the thread with something like in the center and we don't need to cut this thread, mm -hmm. we'll leave it. So we have here two turns, and then we'll leave it Дальше берем aside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now we're making hands. Замечательно. крепко И возвращаемся. Опять же, на шею крестиком. Это получается обережный крестик. Еще mm -hmm. раз сделаем то же самое. 
Угу. Получается двойной обережный крестик. Угу. Выполняет обережную функцию. So the last and the very interesting part which I really love is making a dress in order to be beautiful. We need to be really accurate. So the color of this red is of importance, of a great importance, because if it is red, then it means defending. So if we take this one with a red thread, it means defense, defense and protection. And this one is just for playing. As we see, the thread is of another color and it could be any of any color, but not red. So the last gist and the last part is an apron. Tie it to the body of the doll. And the final thing is the belt. As it is a girlish doll, we need to make the bow on the left. Повязы мочили, как вот у меня челье, да? Потому что девушка могла украсить себя очельем, не знаю, была не замужем еще, у нее волосы заплетались в одну косичку, и она не была в ее обязанности закрывать голову платком. Если женщина выходила замуж, то она была уже обязана сплести эти две косы, и уже все волосы прятала под платок. So finally we've ended up our doll making and I managed to make it. It's, very, it's impossible to imagine I could do it at home. So thank you very much for your help. So we can imagine any expression, any face expression on this doll. And I think that mine is very happy because it is its birthday. Uh -huh. вот какую куклу девушка сделала, так, uh -huh. так и считалось в дальнейшем, какой она будет хозяйкой. Uh -huh. вот. И принимала эти куклы, когда она замуж выходила с Йока, uh -huh. и смотрела ее кукольный сундучок, какие у нее куклы ладненькие или неладненькие. Uh -huh. Хорошая хозяйка будет или плохая. Так что я вас поздравляю, у вас очень ладненькая кукла получилась, что вы хорошая хозяйка. It is an amazing thing to watch the process of making the dolls and the most amazing thing that I took part in it and I hope that you loved it too. See you later!